You're not engaging in aircraft carrier-based air combat without electronic warfare and jamming of enemy air defenses. That's where the U.S. Navy's EA-18G Growler comes in. This airplane provides an important role in creating a safe path for follow-on attack aircraft that are trying to evade enemy radar and surface-to-air missiles. You know it's tried and true in warfare because it's a variant of the F-A-18F Super Hornet. Built to replace the EA-6B Prowler, the Growler is the first newly designed electronic warfare aircraft produced in more than 35 years. The aircraft also retains all of the F-A-18EF's multi-mission capabilities with its validated design and the capability to perform a wide range of enemy defense suppression missions. The Growler is powered by a pair of General Electric F414 GE400 turbofan engines that provide the aircraft with 44,000 pounds of thrust. The EA-18G Growler has a maximum speed of 1,960 kilometers an hour, roughly Mach 1.6, and has a maximum range of 1,570 kilometers when equipped with external fuel tanks. New isn't always easy. Adjusting to the brand new capabilities of the aircraft is the biggest issue facing the Navy. For instance, the main difference between the EA-18G Growler and the EA-6B Prowler is that the Growler combines electronic warfare with a weapons system. Also, the technological interface is almost all brand new. Overcoming both of these issues is difficult, especially because there aren't many pilots with experience flying both electronic attack aircraft as well as fighter mission aircraft. The Prowler could not defend itself because it had no weapon system. Every mission the Prowler executed required a fighter escort. Now the Growler comes equipped with air-to-air -air defense mechanisms. While the EA-18G Growler's primary missions are electronic attack and suppression of enemy air defenses, the electronic attack aircraft are also capable of mounting weaponry for directly engaging enemy forces. When operating in a surveillance-only setup, the Growler's typically armed with two AIM-120 air-to-air missiles for self-defense against enemy aircraft. When deployed for standoff jamming and escort jamming operations, EA-18Gs are equipped with two AGM-88 high-speed anti-radiation missiles harms, along with two AIM-120 missiles. In situations when electronic attack and suppression of enemy air defense missions are not required, the EA-18G can be outfitted primarily for strike missions and will mount two AGM-88 harm missiles, two AIM-120s, and two AGM-154 joint standoff weapons JSOWs. A short history. Boeing and Northrop Grumman combined forces to create the EA-18G. The wings, forward fuselage, and final assembly were Boeing's responsibility. The rear fuselage, aircraft body, and the entire electronic system were taken care of by Northrop Grumman. Communication from plane to air crew is streamlined with the latest technology available going into the EA-18G. The EA-18G is a carrier-based aircraft. It's the premier aircraft in terms of technical jamming and electronic protection. The first test flight was conducted in October of 2006, two years after it began production. As of 2014, over 1,000 EA-18Gs have been built with plans to continue to produce. Other countries have taken notice of this new machine, namely Australia. The island continent purchased 12 of the aircraft in 2013, with the first one being delivered to the country in 2015. Additionally, this is the first time this level of intelligence was built and sold for another country. Enemy will be confused and blind. The EA-16G Growler's two primary missions are electronic attack and the suppression of enemy air defenses. To accomplish these missions, Growlers are outfitted with a host of advanced electronic warfare systems, Block 1 Growlers are equipped with up to three ALQ-99 radar jamming pods along with an ALQ-218 receiver and a Raytheon ALQ-227 communication countermeasure system that's mounted in what's typically the F-A-18's gun bay. Block 2 Growlers are equipped with APG-79 active electronically scanned array radar with passive detection mode and active radar suppression an ALQ-218 digital radar warning receiver, and an ALE-47 countermeasures dispenser. These systems allow the EA-18G Growler to support and protect friendly forces on the ground 
in the air and at sea by jamming enemy radar and providing electronic protection. In addition, the Growler is able to provide electronic intelligence, surveillance, and reconnaissance data to other friendly aircraft and can maintain uninterrupted radio communications in heavily jammed environments with its interference cancellation system. The Growler's ALQ-227 communications countermeasure set allow the EA-18G to not only digitally jam enemy communications over a broad frequency, but also to locate, record, and play back those communications. Growler knows how to collect and crunch data. An intriguing aspect of the EA-18 Growler is that it's a data-collecting machine. Not only does it penetrate air defenses quickly, but it can find the location of enemy communications, jam them, then record what the adversary is saying. The data is sent back to other aircraft like early warning birds such as the E-2 Hawkeye and later exploited for intelligence, surveillance, and reconnaissance analytics. The Growler also works to make sure friendly communication is not exploited by the enemy. Defense contractors have improvements in mind. These capabilities are only going to get better. Boeing has agreed to deliver a five-year Growler modification program that improves the data collection even further. The upgrade will strengthen the EA-18G's ability to transfer information to other airplanes processing of ISR data will be better. Raytheon is also providing the Growler with the next generation jammer. This will give electronic warfare activities extended range and ensure it can engage more targets at the same time. The Growler's only going to improve over time since it's based on a versatile platform. To further demonstrate its value, the Department of Defense is doubling down on the Growler. The Navy said in an announcement earlier this month that it'll modernize sensor hardware and software for the EA-18G Growler through a $71.4 million contract modification. The Air Force wants its own Growler, and Congress agrees. The Department of Defense likes the Growler so much that it's transferring the concept to the Air Force. It's about time the Air Force had this capability as well. The fiscal year 2022 National Defense Authorization Act has the appropriation set aside to outfit existing Air Force fighters with the next generation jammer. The Air Force currently lacks its own version of the Growler, and this will change over time. A versatile, multi-role electronic warfare airplane. With the EA-18G Growler, a carrier battle group has many options. It can send the airplane out on patrols to collect intelligence. In a potential conflict, it'll create a safe path for attack aircraft, such as the Super Hornet. It can communicate with the E-2 Hawkeye while snooping enemy communications. It'll be the number one airplane for an aerial battle scenario in East Asia. Electronic warfare and suppression of enemy air defenses is an absolute necessity in the 21st century warfare. The Navy should feel blessed that it has the EA-18G Growler's eyes and ears out in front of a carrier battle group. It can not only jam and neutralize enemy radar and weapon systems, but it can also collect their communications. This data exploitation is one thing that makes the Growler unique, and it's only going to get better with the various modifications and upgrades in store over the coming years.